हेलो एवरीवन सो आई एम जितेंद्र त्यागी एंड राइट नाउ आई एम विद डॉक्टर तनुश्री सी इज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन स्कूल ऑफ सिविल एंड एनवायरनमेंट इंजीनियरिंग आईआईटी मंडी सो मैम मोस्ट वेलकम ऑन योर एजुकेशन प्लेटफॉर्म थैंक यू सो यू टोल्ड अस दैट यू रिसेंटली ज्वाइन हियर आफ्टर कम्प्लीटिंग योर पी एच डी ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू प्लीज टेल एस अबाउट योर जनरी ऑफ लाइफ अप टू दिस पॉइंट uh thank you uh, for introducing me so myself uh, tanushri parsai i am currently an assistant professor and in school of civil and environmental engineering at iit mandi i did my uh, bachelor's from jabalpur engineering college jabalpur uh, in the field of civil engineering and then i did my masters from uh, vnit nagpur in environmental engineering and then i uh did my phd from indian institute of technology delhi uh under the guidance of professor arun kumar in the field of uh, environmental engineering i work in the area of uh, emerging contaminants uh, the fate of emerging contaminants like nano materials and microplastic in uh, aquatic systems and the second area where i work uh, is uh, in the field of uh, risk assessment that is human health and ecological uh, risk assessment due to these emerging contaminants okay so ma'am uh, you have btech in civil yes so after that we have different specializations in mtech yes so is there any reason to choose this environmental engineering in mtech yes so i chose environmental engineering because uh, i had one professor uh from whom i studied environmental engineering and he motivated uh, me a lot uh in uh, choosing this specialization and also in my uh, btech i had done certain minor projects which minor and major projects which we have in bachelors in the field of environmental engineering like water quality analysis of the uh, nearby campus area and design of storm water systems so my whole inclination was towards this particular field from the starting that's why i chose uh, environmental engineering as an specialization for pursuing higher studies okay so right now after joining in iit mandi uh, have you started working on any particular project uh, currently i am working on microplastic fate uh, and the removal of removal of microplastics and nano uh materials uh using green technology uh, like constructed wetland so one of my student is working in that particular uh, area okay another student uh, is working in uh, uh, dealing with another emerging contaminant that is uh, phs that is polyaromatic hydrocarbons so how these uh, phs are released uh, into the environment from various sources and what can be the treatment uh method for removing such emerging contaminants from the environment is something i am dealing with currently okay so your research work is such as so that uh, it is a requirement of government also yes and as well as of private organizations also yes so suppose some government agency or any department particular department uh, uh wants to take technical support from your side okay so in what areas you can provide in future a technical support or any consultancy or you can you would like to take any project from government or any private organization uh, uh the most important uh, feel like uh, as i told i am working on emerging contaminant and that is something uh, nowadays uh, this plastic is a major problem and of course all these uh, contaminants or pollutants which are releasing from our day to day products so i uh, am open to uh, like uh, accept uh, projects uh, uh, which deal in this particular area where uh, people are looking for uh, uh, analyzing the water quality of the river water or um, uh, any stagnant water systems where they want to know the quality of water and what is the uh, current pollution potential of water with respect to these uh, emerging contaminants like nano materials and microplastic so the one area where i can um, uh, give my input is in analyzing and monitoring of uh, that particular water body 
secondly how can that particular contamination can be uh, removed uh, in from that particular uh, water system and third i can also help in assisting in assessing the risk which is associated with these particular contaminants and also in framing the guidelines so that we can restrict the release of such contaminants into the water bodies okay so your area of work require requires some diverse diversify region to work so how do you see the geographical allocation of iit mandi is that suitable for your work uh, yes i think uh, uh, the iit mandi is uh, well located in terms of my uh, uh, research uh, area as uh, Uh, the uh, whatever pollutant i am talking about they are not just locate uh, uh, are geographically uh, like uh, specific they are found everywhere because what i am telling is these are like nano materials or these microplastic are getting released from our day to day products it's not like they are very region specific and also these uh, uh, other contaminants which i talk about uh, with the uh, change in the climate you have forest fires so all these change uh, are also resulting into the uh, release of these contaminants the glacial melt which is happening in the himalayas is also resulting into the re uh, release of these contaminants so it's not uh, that geographical uh, location will be uh, a problem so all these things are getting released as i told uh, in uh, um, the aquatic system from all these routes so in fact uh, this iit mandi have a uh, provides a better geographical location as uh, i told that climate change is happening and you have more forest fire taking place which release more uh, uh, phs into the environment and then you have uh, this glacier melt uh, which after a certain times like 10 down the uh, 10 years down the line you will have uh, water scarcity problem so you have to go for certain other uh, sources from where you can get the water so but that quality also needs to be analyzed and uh, this glacier uh, melt water how we can improve the quality of that water so all these things uh, are important and need to be analyzed and i think that comes under the purview of this uh, uh, area of iit mandi nice so ma'am uh, many students will watch uh, this video so you need students for phd for mtech research mtech programs so if you want to address them or you want to tell the students that uh, they should be strong if they want to work with you in your team then what skills should they get uh i would definitely like to welcome all the interested students who wants to work in this area where they want to do something for the environment something for the society we all need to come up together for working towards the safety of our um, environment it is not only related to the water it is related to uh, solid waste it is related to the air quality or the climate change which is happening so i would like to uh, invite all the uh, budding engineers or scientists or all students who wants to work in uh, this particular area of uh, understanding the environment understanding the pollution coming up with certain uh, problem solving skills coming up with uh, ideas where they can build some prototype or build some certain solutions which can be applied uh, uh, at uh, research level also also in uh, the level where you can um, have small startup where you, you can work in the uh, field of uh, this environmental uh, engineering or environmental science so i think all the students uh, who are interested in saving the environment or working towards it i think i welcome uh, Uh, everyone and it's not necessary that you need to be from a particular set uh, or like if from a particular branch i think uh, if you want to do something for uh, the environment it's not necessary you should have all the skills of uh, environmental engineering uh, even if you have a problem solving skills related with developing certain prototype i think i welcome everyone nice nice ma'am so anything else which you want to mention about uh, Uh, your work or your department uh 
Uh, I think uh, uh, my we, uh, currently I have three PhD students who work under me, and there are certain B Tech students who are also working uh, under my supervision. I would like to mention that uh, IIT Mandi is a beautiful place. Uh, you have a lot of opportunities uh, uh, in terms of uh, uh, seeing the uh, nature uh, around here and also working. So it's a good combination to work as well and relax. And both are important when it comes to uh, doing studies or research. So it's a beautiful place, and students should come and contribute towards the society and also enjoy uh, the work over here. Thank you. Okay. So one more point: What are the major concerns related to environment about which our students should think? Not only to get a placement after doing some course. Or if they really want to work something, so what are the major challenges? Okay, so currently the major challenges which uh, we are uh, facing uh, is as you all have heard about uh, the sustainable development goals which we need to attain by twenty thirty. But for attaining that, the most important point as you have heard about is uh, clean water and sanitation. Uh, we are facing problem, and we will be facing problem after twenty thirty years uh, about scarcity of water. That will be there. That's a major challenge. We are using uh, water for flushing toilets. We are using. Uh, we're wasting a lot of water in uh, various uh, sectors. So we need to first think about the reuse of water. Yes. So that is a major thing which we should think about how we can uh, bring certain solutions where we can save water by um, reusing, introducing the reusing concept in all these sector. The second uh, important uh, thing which uh, I would like to mention is how you can do something regarding the recovery of products. Like if you are treating waste water, or if you or if you are treating water, how you can recover the products and how you can reuse those products. that is the uh, one important challenge and people should work on third thing is uh, regarding this plastic waste as i am telling that uh, it is it will it is creating a problem and it will create more problem because it is a non biodegradable substance so that in either in aquatic environment soil environment or in landfill environment is posing a major problem the leaching of the harmful chemicals like endocrine disrupting chemicals which are leaching from these plastic products we should work on that we should think how we can uh, like whatever plastic has been released or is there in the environment it is there so how now we can uh, bring up some solution uh, related to uh, that particular field very nice ma'am mm -hmm. so you explained all the important points uh, to the students uh, as well as some experts from industries so everyone will look uh, opportunities in this uh, discussion they will definitely get yeah, important so information okay thank you very much thank you so much thank you